Hey Capricorn. So I've been sitting in your energy all morning. And what's really interesting is I kind of realized as I was like pulling in your energy for April, how quiet you all have been in March. And like, I haven't heard from any of my Capricorn friends. And it's so surreal to like, just now be, be like, are they okay? Are they cool? <laughs> like, I hope everything's okay. I, I mean, I was kind of dealing with my own Mercury retrograde things that were going on, but um, there was this level of silence from you guys that was like deafening. So I hope everybody is coming out of this Mercury retrograde, which goes direct tomorrow. We still have a shadow period for a couple weeks, but I hope you guys are all doing fine. <laughs> Hit me up. Let me know you're all good. Um, but I do feel like you guys needed this quiet time. And there's something very profound about being in a silence. Um, when you're silent with yourself, that's where the truth emerges. And I feel like you guys came to a lot of truths this month. I think that you probably figured out a lot of things about yourselves that either you weren't really 100% proud of or 100% ready to face until now, uh, which is good because you're preparing yourself for what's coming. And we're going like at the end of April, um, I'm skipping ahead a little bit here, but at the end of April, the planets that have been in your sign for the last couple of years are going, re they're doing their annual retrograde, and that's why I'm wearing the karma shirt, right? What goes around comes around, because I feel like you guys have been doing some heavy karma clearing. Um, having Pluto and Saturn in your sign for all this time together is not the easiest transit. And I know that my Capricorn friends are very similar to, you know, Virgos, Tauruses, Taurians, Capricorns. We all shut down. We all get quiet. We don't want to bother other people with our problems. So we pull back, we get silent and what you don't actually realize is happening is within that grounded silence, within that like allowing yourself to not show up constantly for everybody all the time and allowing yourself to have some space and get quiet and get silent, you're finding out a lot of truths. So April 28th, April 29th, um, and we're gonna talk about this more during for the May readings coming up. Um, those planets are going, Saturn and Pluto will be going retrograde. Jupiter will also be going retrograde in April, um, which is in your, currently in your 12th house, especially if you're a Capricorn rising, it's in your 12th house. And Jupiter's been teaching a lot of lessons. And during retrograde, there's a lot of lessons that will happen too. Um, I feel like the gifts that Jupiter's bringing to people are going to start showing up during this retrograde, possibly not taking action until after the retrograde. But there's like this, I, I, I don't know what it is, this Jupiter retrograde really makes me feel like there's a lot of eye-opening stuff that's going to be happening during that four-month period between April 10th and August. Don't remember what day in August it goes direct. Doesn't really matter right now, right this moment, but we just know it goes direct in August. It's a four-month retrograde. So let's just get started because, you know, I don't know what's going on with you. I think that out of all of my friends... I have, you know, I feel, I feel that you guys, the responsibility is super, super heavy. I feel the, I mean, the shouldering of the responsibility is really, really heavy, but it's time for you to transmute that responsibility energy into something that is going to um, be a more positive outcome. Um, you intuitively are already feeling this, like you already know that there are big things coming and a lot of it is going to require you to be centered within yourself and, and to have this kind of self-care. Whether somebody has actually looked you in the face and said, you really need to take care of yourself right now. Like, you're not taking care of yourself. You're not doing things for yourself that are benefiting your health in any way, shape, or form. It's time for you to really focus on yourself, turn it, go inward. Um, whether somebody actually said that to you or your body is screaming. Last night I was actually thinking, okay, I'm going to do Capricorn's reading tomorrow. So I kind of feel like I was already pulling your energy in for April last night. 
And I just all of a sudden got these really bad aches and pains, like all over, like my, um, even my, uh, uh, oh, I forgot the name of it. Oh, my sciatic nerve pain, like right in my lower back, um, which I haven't felt since the last time I was pregnant five years ago, six years ago. It's so weird. It's like all of these pains started showing up in like a very physical way. And I was like, oh man, what is this? And this morning when I was like, you know, going to do my workout and walking things out and trying to like figure out where this pain is coming from and how I'm going to stretch it out, how I'm going to get it out and everything. And then I realized what it was. Like I was actually living in Capricorn energy last night and today. And it's painful. Like you guys are taking on your stresses and it's coming out in a physical way. So I need you to start self-care, right? So we have the High Priestess. It is Pisces season. Venus is moving into Pisces. Mercury will still be in Pisces. Um, Mars is, has moved into Gemini. We'll be moving into Gemini um, in April. Or actually at the end of March, Mars is moving into Gemini. Uh, Uranus is now in Taurus. So we have all of these planets that have like done this huge shift. With the High Priestess here... I feel like you guys are just quiet. Like you're still just not really letting a lot of people, and maybe you're doing that right now and something about that's going to change. You may have a Pisces or a Scorpio in your life, um, but this judgment card makes me feel like all of those aches and pains that I was feeling, like the physical manifestation of your stress level that I was feeling last night, The it's like the universe screaming at you to finally start to take care of yourself with the Ace of Cups. It's almost as if you can't, like you're going to be forced into this whether you like it or not. You're going to be forced into taking care of yourself and allowing yourself the time, energy, and space to um, love on you. Yeah, this is that aha moment. I don't know. I feel like something happens at the beginning of April where you have to transition in a really big way. Something is changing for you in April. And I feel like the universe is screaming at you, self-care. And this Ace of Swords. Um, now, if you start to get a little bit, I want to say, like, you feel like you're being tested or there's like this testing that's happening, you know, like you're getting a little bit angry, you're, bit, you're getting a little bit choppy, you're starting to bite at people. Um... I feel like there's a need for you to kind of uh, reverse it and start all over again. The Three of Pentacles. It's like, like literally, I want to say like a record going backwards. You know how like they used to play the records backwards and you would get a total, like you would get these hidden messages like in the Beatles, like Paul is dead or whatever. Um... I feel like that's what's, like you're having to reverse something in your life and come back around. There's a very big reversal and maybe that's why I wore the Karma t-shirt today because I feel like you guys are, like this Mercury retrograde pulled you backwards and now you're having to like do an about face and go and move forward again. It's a very interesting feeling that I'm getting, but you're not saying much about it. You're really allowing yourself to transition through this without the help of a lot of people but I want to make sure that you're doing that allowance in, in a healthy way and not just shutting people out because you're like, they won't understand. Like, I could explain it to them until I'm blue in the face, but they won't understand. So I truly, truly, truly want you to allow yourself to let other people help if needed. That's what this Three of Pentacles is also. It's about teamwork. It's about entrepreneurship. You're starting something new. You're able to do something new, but I think that you had to move backwards a little bit in order for you to kind of reset, reset yourself. Um, Saturn and Pluto going in retrograde um, starting at the end of April will shine the light on a lot of things that you probably need to um, recognize that need to be closed up. What is a retrograde? Reevaluate, reassess, redo. Um, review, whatever it is that you feel like has been holding you back in your life over and over and over again, 
there is a need for a reset. There is a, um, you have to allow yourself to say, okay, that was a mistake. Because we don't, I mean, earth signs don't like to often admit that they're wrong. Let's be honest with each other. <laughs> Here's the tea. We don't like to admit that we're wrong. But when we're wrong, we're wrong. And Pluto and Saturn being very, being the, the planets of karma and transformation, right? Pluto rules Scorpio. Saturn rules Capricorn. Big Daddy is telling you what needs to change in your life. And if you don't listen, it's going to be a very hard rest of the transit. Yeah, you guys are really being quiet right now, which is good. If you're being quiet and you're listening to your intuition, that's positive. If you're being quiet and you're not allowing yourself to listen to your intuition, if you're just distracting yourself and not talking to other people, I don't want you to go in that direction. Um, you do see the changes that are coming or the changes that need to happen. The question is, are you going to act on it? Are you actually going to make the changes? Ooh, you're going to be forced into the changes. Pluto shows up again. The tower on the death card. If you do not change the way you're doing things right now, I don't care what kind of situation, situation ship it's in. That's my new word. I'm using it. Situationship. It's not a relationship. It's not a, hold on a second. My phone was not on. Do not disturb. And it will be so distracting. And there's something that is like on my cup. All right. Sorry about that. If you do not change your situationship, whatever it is that you're doing right now that you keep beating your head up against a brick wall about, that is going to be changed for you, like it or not. It's going to happen. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a friendship, whether it's family member situationships, whether it's something that is going on up in your head over and over and over again that you need to stop lying to yourself about. People don't trust me. People don't like me. People don't depend on me. I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I don't care what it is. The universe, I mean, this is a very karmic time for you. Because you're getting a chance to review everything that's been going on for the last couple of years. And if you don't allow yourself to change whatever it is that's been going on the last couple of years, the universe is going to do it for you. Big Daddy Saturn wants to take really good care of you. But if you're not um, removing things from your life that are extremely karmic, Saturn is not going to be very kind, right? Whatever it is that you feel like there's a societal standard for you to stand up in and be like, this is me, like it or not, I feel like you're having to take a stand either against a Taurus or you're having to take a stand against society in general and be like, I'm not the same person I was two years ago and I'm, I'm going to stop pretending I am. I'm not the same person I was six months ago. I'm not the same person I was when this Mercury retrograde started. Maybe you just went through your awakening process. Maybe you just recognized you went through your awakening process. Maybe you need to start learning more about what that awakening process is and why you're feeling the way you're feeling. And to stop acting like everything is kosher and everything is okay. And everything is clean and pure and very Capricorn-esque. One of my very best friends, he was actually, I dated him in high school, and he's a very good friend of mine, and that's what kind of made me think, like, I haven't heard from him in a while. Capricorn, sun sign, Taurus rising, moon is in Pisces. He's been, I'm been really hard on himself in the last year, and I keep, like, trying to tell him why. And you Capricorns want to be so right like, I almost feel like the reason why he hasn't contacted me is because I have been right. And there hasn't been, like, he doesn't even really know what to do with it anymore. So if there's, I mean, I will work on the alignment with you. I will work on the self-awareness with you. I will work on your self-alignment with you. All you got to do is contact me. We'll order it up and schedule it not that hard to reach out but being an earth sign I know how hard it is for you to reach out so whatever situation you're coming to 
there really is this now is the time. It's like now or never. You can't go back. Um, I feel like you guys aren't really seeing what it is that you need to heal. Um, and you're also not seeing how other people are kind of um, offering you the love and wanting to help you heal. The Two of Swords on the Ace of Cups. The Two of Swords is being blindfolded to situations. And I feel like that's what you're doing sometimes is when some people do offer you help or some people do want to be like, hey, Capricorn, let's do this. And I think a lot of it is because if you change your ways, if you change your ways of doing things, it's going to be like total devastation in your mind. Right? There could be a conversation or you're coming to a realization that things have to end in your life. The Ten of Swords on the Ace of Swords. But you're still not seeing how it's going to benefit you. You're not allowing this healing process to come through. You're just seeing the bad parts of it. You're seeing the worst part of it. You're seeing that the Ten of Swords is, is the bad part. It's not the, the healthy part, right? It's like everything is over. Oh my gosh. You could be um, getting some messages about starting new projects that are getting giving you a lot of anxiety. I feel like the Capricorns that have really come out to express themselves, have really um, shown up for themselves, they're the ones that are um, reaching out to people because they're recognizing something needs to change. Um, the Capricorns that are like putting way too much on their plate right now and really need to take care of themselves aren't recognizing or they're not hearing the other people say, you're really super stressed out, let me help you. I think it's more... The more you pull yourself away from other people that are trying to help, the more confusing things we're going to get. Because I think that you want to be in a state of clarity, and but at the same time, you're afraid to be in a state of clarity because that clarity brings truth. You know, you, you learned all the truth during the silence that you took, but within that silence, if, you, if some kind of clarity came to mind and you have to end something or you have to transition in some way or change something in some way, that's going to be very difficult for you to do. Um, I want you to allow yourself to start new projects with ease and not have, not be in this anxiety or this confusion. If you need to open up and express how you're feeling, please do. You don't need to be in silent mode anymore. Mercury is going direct. Life will get a little bit easier. Even with Saturn and Pluto going in retrograde, that, I mean, they're outer planets, and those kind of planets, it takes a while for the energy to kind of catch up with us. Um, I don't want you to be afraid of all the things that you have to review. The energy, like, it's going to come up. These things are going to come up in your mind, and you're going to be like, oh, wow, I guess I really do need to take care of that. Oh, wow, I guess I really, like, things will start to show up in your life. You'll be like, oh, damn, I should have taken care of that months ago or years ago or whatever. That's what Saturn and Pluto are going to show you. Things you should have taken care of that you either forgot about or you just decided, nope, I'm not going to do that today, which is something a Virgo would do. I'm not comfortable with that. That's going on the back burner. Virgos are really good procrastinators, by the way, if you did not already know. Virgos are very good. Capricorns are amazing at that. They do not procrastinate. Virgos... <laughs> will procrastinate to death. Tauruses procrastinate too. They just do. If you if it's something that they really want to do, they'll do it. Both signs. But, you know. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Four of Swords. Um, if you feel like there are, times are, like, the, during the times of a lot of confusion in April, the things that are coming up that are giving you a lot of anxiety, the things that you don't understand that need to change, the things that the universe is like literally changing for you to better your life, to better your existence. Whenever it's really confusing for you, I want you to take a time out. Don't go into silent mode for an entire month like you did in March, but pull yourself back. Allow yourself to go for a run, go for a drive, take yourself out to the movies. It's so funny because I know with you guys that if you rest for 30 minutes in your day, you feel lazy. And that's not, I mean, you have to take time out for yourself, especially when things are really confusing, especially if you got a lot of, if you're juggling a lot of things, you got to take some time out, right? Um, you're going to want to feel like going at lightning speed. The energy is going to tell you to slow down a little bit. Again, 
Um, if there's an Aries that's moving really, really slowly in your life, I feel like it's time to get super discerning with that person because um, I feel like you have different morals, values, and ideas. It's like that person seriously wants to go really, really slow where you actually want to like get out and be social again. However, that works for you. Um, balance is key to getting everything you want. A water sign could be really, really helping you or really, really hurting you at this time. It's all in how you allow the energy to surface. We have the Nine of Cups and Justice. I feel like this balancing act is something that you're really craving right now. You're like, I really just need to have some kind of balance in my life. Either this water sign is hurting you or you're feeling some pain. Doesn't have to be a water sign. It could just be somebody who is really water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or, um, this person is um this person is either in a lot of pain or they hurt you in some way shape or form i almost want to say that um if it's not an air sign that is that is hurting you it's a water sign that's hurting you and um i kind of want you to just like stand in your own power be the person that you know you can be but give yourself a freaking break like give yourself a break you don't have to do everything all the time. Sitting down for 30 minutes, taking a nap, that does not mean you're lazy. It means you're smart. Be smart. And allow yourself the time to take a break, okay? Because I feel like April is revving you up to get ready for these retrogrades. And I feel like there are a lot of changes that are going to be coming to you. And I'm not saying this to like, this is not a negative reading, Capricorn. And for those of you who are going to be like watching this and being like, oh my God, you're so negative. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, to prepare you for a planetary transit. I don't want you to change your life for that planetary transit. Um, like I don't want you to start doing things differently. I just want you to be aware. You got to be aware of the energy. That's what it's all about. It's not about changing your entire existence because two planets go retrograde. That would be silly, right? Um, it's just the awareness that I want you guys to be, you know, you like to be on your game. I'm trying to help you be on your game. Okay. And we don't take care of ourselves enough in life. And it's not a selfish thing. It's not a lazy thing. I can see where you're coming from. If you think it's selfish and you think it's lazy, but 30 minutes of your life, taking 30 minutes out of your life to just like chillax is not lazy. It's smart. It's and because you guys aren't even sleeping very well. I feel like you guys aren't even sleeping very well and you need to. There's a lot coming and there's a lot coming to you. So in in the middle of all of the everything showing up, I want you to kind of take a take a break and you might be forced into it. Some of you might even get sick. Sometimes I only know Capricorns to relax and to rest when they're sick. So um, if you are interested in getting any merchandise from me, that link is in the description box below. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have coffee mugs, we have, um, baseball caps are coming and tank tops are coming as well for the summertime. Um, and what else? Oh, if you want to get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me where we can find out what it is that's blocking you to become self-aware, to come into alignment with yourself. Um, those links are in the description box below. I also have a class on April 17th. It's going to be really fun. It's all about manifesting um, what you truly desire and manifesting your best life and how to do that. Um, it's a two-hour live class. There's only a limited number of spots. So that's on my website, fearlessintuition.net. And of course, you can also get a personal reading from me. All of that stuff is there as well. I love you guys. Enjoy April. Don't let the fear mongering of planetary transits get to you. Um, just be aware of yourself. Be very self-aware and know that sometimes that everybody has to review their life. It's not even you guys that are going to have to do it. We're all going to have to do it eventually. It is just now it's your, the energy is very heavy for you to do that. Review, reassess and redo. It's very fun, right? I love you guys. Have a great April. I'll see you for your soulmate readings. Bye.